training agency that has several contracts with the government. And one of the trainings that they offer was named something along the lines of how to round up and hold rural communities and country communities. Meaning you, basically, if you're not in a city. Uh, they were actively working government contracts with the military. And one of the training courses was how to round up people in the country. How to deal with people in rural areas. Let that sink in for a minute. The CDC has put out new guidelines. Tips on sharing and surviving, I should say, a zombie apocalypse. What? I'm not making this up. This, this, is, this is starting to trend right now. Predicted in 2021 that there would be a Russian scientist create a biological weapon that will produce a virus and turn humankind into zombies. I saw this last night. And for those of you who have said they cannot unless it's FDA approved. I have been screaming from the mountaintops to not trust that. They will make sure it gets approved by the FDA or they will change the rules to fit their agenda. But check this out. Prepare to administer as early as September 1st pending the full Food and Drug Administration messenger. Ask that open. Go research for yourself. dispute involving Indian and Chinese soldiers, both sides are now deploying more troops along the 2,000 mile border between the two countries. Now we're seeing on the Chinese side roughly 200,000 troops according to some estimates flow into areas around the border. And what's been seen as the biggest deployment in India's history, some 50,000 additional soldiers are matching China's current troop strength in the area. Sources tell us the threat has been clear and present. India's deployment is about preparedness rather than triggering hostility. What's important is the sort of troops that they have. They have some um, uh, pretty serious high-altitude fighters embedded among them. Uh, this is a serious deployment designed to try to uh, make the PLA be very concerned about doing a land offensive again. Recently, there has been information going around um, from a doctor, Dr. Brian Artis. He's a chiropractor. He practices in Texas. And he, as well as a lot of other doctors, are in the process of filing a civil action suit against the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Basically, all of this stuff that's pertaining to uh, CBD and Big V and a lot of misinformation, a, a lot of uh, practices they're required to do, they see harm in these practices and they're basically standing up and they're saying enough is enough, we're not going to take this anymore, we're going to fight back. 
right? But one of the things he said more recently was that there have been 45,000 deaths in three days from Big V. And that number was, people were just like, oh, wait, what? You know, this is great. No way. And even when I saw that, I was like, no. Mm. In other news, over a dozen fully <laughs> doctors have died of in Indonesia, according to a medical association. As the Southeast Asian country battles a rash of severe cases in inoculated medical workers and highly infectious new strains. Nearly 1,000 Indonesian health workers have died from the since the pandemic started, with the country's medical association confirming on Friday that 401 doctors were among the victims, 14 of whom were fully People, you need to turn off your televisions, stop believing the news because the media is owned by Big Pharma, in case you didn't notice. This is World War fucking three. Wake up! What is wrong with you people? China in recent months has increased its military activity around Taiwan, a democratically ruled territory considers its own, which is not far from Japan's Okinawa Islands. In Japan's defense papers, approved by Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga's government on Tuesday, Tokyo said China was inciting a military crisis in the region. China's foreign ministry spokesman, Zhao Lijian, rejected Japan's conclusions about what it calls a normal military buildup. It is extremely wrong and irresponsible to grossly interfere in China's internal affairs. Unreasonable to accuse China of normal national defense construction and military activities and make irresponsible remarks about China's legitimate maritime activities, as well as exaggerating the so-called Chinese threat. Well, first of all, Cuba today is basically in a state of martial law in many of the major cities across the country. The troops are stationed, security forces are stationed, and the message is clear. They're also continuing to repress people. We've had these horrifying reports we've seen and have gotten of people being tortured, of, uh, of people being abducted from their homes and, and family members not knowing where they are. They try, this is the model they have followed for a long time. The only difference between now and in the past is some of it is being documented and posted on social media for the world to see. Uh, as far as where it goes next, look, something changed on the 11th of July. It's, I don't think it's going to happen from one day to the next. It's the beginning of a process. But what is clear now is that the rupture between the people and the regime is complete and that they've lost their legitimacy to govern. And, and that's the point that needs to continue to be driven home. They no longer, no matter how you feel about them ideologically, they no longer have a legitimacy. And it's time for a change to begin on the island of Cuba. I think Elon Musk, someone must have spiked his coffee or something. He comes out with these really bizarre warnings for the earth and he kind of borders on talking about depopulation and, and I'm, i was stunned he just says the, the future of the earth's population is really grim and it's going to diminish and blah blah blah, blah. And, but he doesn't really get into too much why he's not talking about famine or an asteroid strike or uh corona mass ejection from the sun uh, he's not talking about any of those things thermonuclear warfare all the things that we think about can threaten life on this planet he, he's really kind of silent on that issue except i don't see much future for the earth this is why i'm interested in space now listen to this folks listen to this this is this is worth the price of admission right here he says although the earth may be imperiled and its population is in trouble it's not that way on mars what what can you imagine if there was someone on mars if they see all these craft Mars. What are those, Daddy? says the little Martian. They're colonists, son. What do they want? They're making money for Elon Musk. Is this the most bizarre thing you've ever heard? There's no future on Earth. But come with me. I'm the Noah of modern space travel. Climb aboard my arcs while we sail to the promised land called Mars. You really want to have a good time? Make sure when you go with Elon Musk that you settle in the Cydonia region. C-Y-D-O-N-I-A. Oh, NASA. Never a straight answer, NASA. Uh, they had a chance to really do some work that they never did. But Richard uh, 
Hoagland, who used to be a part of NASA, did do the work independently. They weren't interested, or they were interested, but wouldn't tell you publicly. But the formations, whatever they are, I mean, NASA says they're lights and shadows and natural things. Since when did natural things form themselves at 90 and 45 degree angles? But they're equidistant from each other, just like the Giza Plateau Pyramid. Aha! And 17,500 years ago, they both at the apex pointed to the constellation Orion. What an amazing set of coincidences, isn't it? But what a bizarre statement. Ain't no future for you here on Earth, but come with me to Mars. <laughs> oh my, could we be living in any more bizarre times? Russia's been persecuting the Jehovah's Witnesses. The local community were attending this court hearing in solidarity with one of the men. But even before the hearing started, police arrived for someone else. started to leave the court building. But the police weren't giving up so easily. Zombie, if you don't want your freedom, chances are you will die. 